and it looks like I do. What's the big news, Camus Ram? Alright, so we can roll. And we shoot with the trigger. And aim with the joystick. It ricochets. You get one fucking arrow. And you can draw it back to you with the same trigger. So you kind of have unlimited arrows, sort of. With one arrow. You can also do it with X. Oh man, are you definitely being deployed? Are you excited or nervous? I think that's a safe spot. Oh, you can swim. Bound to be some secret in the waters. Or not. Oh, I knew there was a fucking secret somewhere. Okay, not much of a secret, I guess. It's still fun. I believe this is our first uh, boss battle here. Welcome back, Deep Winters 3. We're now playing Titan Souls. The graphics for this genetics games. It's a beautiful game. Definitely reminds me of Super Nintendo days. Fuck. So you can even use the pulling it back to you, though, as like another shot. But yeah, you get one hit, one death. Fuck. So, it might be a cute game, looks simple, but it is definitely challenging. But fair, you know, it's not like it's challenging because it has shitty controls or, you know, they made it challenging on purpose. Okay, that was nowhere near him. Kind of hit his heart three or four times. Get out of the goo! Get out of the fucking goo! God damn it, I missed! That's what I'm fucking talking about. Shit. That motherfucker! <laughs> So this is also known as a cursing simulator. Alright, so you can't roll upstairs. You are going down, you fucking piece of shit. Come 
mine. He jumped over my fucking arrow. <sighs> I almost had him. Ouch. God damn it. That just makes it harder for me. Get away from the goddamn goo! And shoot the fucking heart one last goddamn time! Reminds me, in some ways, a Shadow of the Colossus, which uh, I know I can emulate that. And e, uh, or the fuck is? I'm trying to think of uh, the name of the fucking PlayStation 2 emulator I use. I know I can emulate fucking Shadow of the Colossus. What I don't know, uh, well, I, I at least fucking ran around a little bit. I never actually went up to a Colossus and tried to fight the fucking thing. I imagine the frame rate would suffer. Especially if I was trying to stream it as well. <laughs> that didn't last long. Oh man, I wonder if that means that I, I didn't kill the first boss because I didn't go back to the save point. Okay, he's still dead. Fuck is up here. Nothing. See, they should have made that something. If you can climb up those vines, I mean, it's just pointless. If you're gonna give me the opportunity to explore, make it useful. Light the fire and get this ice thing. To trying to catch him on fire. Jesus. That's bullshit. The one I'm doing right now. Jesus! Alright. I've got to stop banging my head into these stairs.
<laughs> Toasted myself. Alright, let's try a different boss. We don't have to beat these in any order. Yeah, I think it was a brain and eye. So we've we've beat a heart. This one's an eye. There was a brain. What the hell is wrong with me? It almost doesn't matter which one you fucking fight, Boss Pie. I mean, I can honestly say I found Shadow of the Colossus easier. To, to that end, I would say I found um, what little I played of Dark Souls easier. destroyed me. So this is Titan Souls. I'm, I may be playing another game here soon. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely not for the faint of heart. Alright, so there, there's somewhat of a pattern to how he moves. I can't activate these fire things. He only he can. So I need to keep that. God damn it! There's a pattern to everything, and it's just a matter of finding those patterns and exploiting them. Now that's just fucking bullshit. Give me one second, guys. And my fucking controller stuff working. There we go. Alright. It's like a little fucking baby moth in here that keeps landing on me. Get off of me. is not staying lit long enough for it to do anything. This reminds me of when I was a kid and I'd like fucking throw horrible fits. 
literally throw the controller across the room, like, directly at the fucking TV and shit. Back man, then, though, you know, TVs were a lot tougher, man. A little fucking Nintendo controller would just bounce right off of it. Both those things were made tough. If I tried to do that now, I'd probably break both my monitor and my fucking Xbox 360 controller. See, that's bullshit. Maybe I have to shoot through the fire. That might be it. That was it. from the goddamn goo! Fuck! He's gonna freeze up again. That's bullshit. At least now I know what to fucking do. I can't get him into the fire, but I can bring the fire to him. already fucked. Alright. Flaming arrow, here we come. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> it's like I'm getting worse. Just so. Oh, shit. God damn it. Seems like sometimes he actually moves quicker. I've only been playing this game for 20 minutes. It feels like I've been playing it for like seven days. <laughs> Fuck this game. I'll get it. Fucking shit. Horror dog. <sighs> Alright. 
I'm going to take a rage break, guys, and uh, eat some beef jerky, drink some Mountain Dew, smoke something, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. It's uh, out of courtesy to, to you guys, really, that I don't fucking eat on camera or on microphone. I don't like hearing other people eat. I'm not a huge fan of watching people eat. And I figure it's just kind that I don't subject you guys to that same bullshit. song comes from I hope somebody at least one person in my room knows where fucking me and my arrow comes from oh uh, oh yes 
Ah, he fucked himself. Such bullshit. Alright, but I think I've got this uh, pattern down. Alright, so shoot. Fucking run. Collect arrow. great if this fucking brain would just melt over time naturally on its own. <laughs> well, that's awesome, Camus Ram. I, I want to have an emotional impact on my audience. That's what I get for talking and playing games at the same time. It's kind of like fixing a car. The more you cuss, the quicker you get the job done.
decides to jump. Fucking piece of shit. That's what I'm fucking talking about. I need to get as far the fuck away from him as possible. been playing for 30 minutes. It's not bad, about 15 minutes per boss fight. I wonder if the game automatically saves for you. Looks like it does. Right? Oh shit, didn't want to go back in there. I'm rolling around too damn much. Alright, so we already know this guy's gonna be a major fucking pain in the ass. Fucking lasers and shit. And of course, where he shoots his laser is where we have to fucking shoot him. Alright, so... It seems like he has a set number of uh, spins before he shoots those fucking lasers. So we need to pay attention to his patterns and manipulate them, if possible. If I shoot him straight on, I should get my arrow right back. So, man, this is not going to be easy. Because I have to hit the very thing that's targeting me. What's this? Let's try this boss. Oh, that just opened up a gate. I guess I have to beat the other three before I can beat this one.
Oh, if you just hold down A, you'll run. So I don't have to roll around like a fucking maniac. So, I think right now I, I have to beat this dice fucker. But knowing that I can just run... ...might give me that edge I need here. It's fucking back. God damn motherfucking shit. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> For some reason this cigarette tickled my throat. <laughs> uh, I think that was like goes down in a record for quickest death yet. Crazy now. Get away from me. I just want my goddamn arrow back. Uh, I wonder if I can. Okay. I heard a fucking squash. It sounded like a tiny skull. Mine. So, his eye opens one turn before he shoots the laser. That's our window. I should start a death counter. I don't know how many times I've died, but... It's been a lot. Where is it? Mini game. Event system. You take it easy, Camus Ram. We 
here, this new version of, uh, Ankbot doesn't fucking have a death counter, and it doesn't have the heist game. Oh yeah, it does. Well, here's the death counter. I'll say start them out. I don't know how many times I fucking died. We'll say 30. of my bot, so appreciate everyone's patience. Say I died one more time. Death. Okay, so that keeps it at 30. How do we increment the fucking death counter? How does it know I died? I started the counter. I can stop the counter. What fucking supposedly makes the goddamn death go. Maybe it somehow magically auto-detects this shit. Let's die and find out. Second rotation. I'm able to shoot that fucker. So I actually have a pretty big window. I just need to manipulate it. So he died. Did the death counter go up? And of course it didn't. I didn't expect it would. So how the fuck? There should be like just a an add death button or a command. Is it maybe death plus? Okay, so death plus. I just used common sense there. I was literally guessing. Alright, so every time I fucking die, guys, if you want to hit um, that very command, exclamation point, death plus, it'll increase my death counter here. I guess we should have one designated person though be the death counter guy, so See, I feel like that should have hit him. And I might want to try to get him on a rebound. Oh man. Well, if, if somebody wants to type in that command since I just died. You heading out as well, Genetics Games?
back out of his way. Pushing our luck here. Yeah, he did it. Or oh, maybe you have to be a mod in the room. I'll go ahead and make you a mod. Man. When he does that jump up in the air shit, he's like stunned for a second. I need to take advantage of the fact that almost seems to be weakening him. There, you're officially a moderator in the room now. Shit. Not only did my controller stop working, but the game, I think, locked up. No, why? <sighs> All right. The game definitely fucking locked up there. Oh, man, you're playing Plants vs. Zombies? Uh, Aaron, can you unplug and plug back in my controller? Load it back up real quick here and see if it actually saved my fucking progress. I'm hoping it did. And since we worked so hard to get this fucking far, let's see what we unlocked by beating those three bad motherfuckers. Three kill. Oh, hey, we were actually very accurate. 32 fucking deaths. So, when I guessed that I had died 30 times, I must have somehow subconsciously known I died exactly 30 fucking times. That is crazy. That is... I don't know how I pulled that off. That is weird. Uncanny. Extremely lucky guess. Alright, so yeah, he's still dead. Good news. Yeah, fuck. Let's, uh, move forward. Oh, no. We woke him up. And pissed him off. Wish there was a save point closer. I'm tired of running all the way from the goddamn save point up to these bosses. It takes like seven seconds. just had to be a moderator in the room. Might as well just have that 
ready to go on the control V. <laughs> I have a feeling we're going to be here a while. God damn motherfucking shit. I don't think I've ever made it this far in this game before. So I, I don't even know where to start with this guy. I, I don't think... Shooting his hands isn't going to do any good. I think I need to shoot his body somehow. Like when he's got both hands, when he's exposed himself. God, this is ridiculous. So there is a small window where he exposes himself, but those fists, when they're coming at you, give you practically no time to get away from them. So I don't know how the fuck I'm going to pull this off. So he changes fist depending on where I am on the screen. That's more information that we can use. What the fuck am I doing? Shoot him. So at least I know what to do. I just gotta get him to keep switching hands, find that sweet spot, and shoot. This isn't impossible. It just seems that way. that shit.
that also makes me more vulnerable. I can kind of psych out his fists. to do a shoot and roll. It does kind of make the chat ugly. Especially a game like this where you die every like 10 fucking seconds. Jeez. Give me my motherfucking arrow back, you bitch. It was like lodged in his chest. That should have counted as a, a kill. up again. There it goes. Yeah, I wonder if you can do like a... Let's try like doing plus two after two deaths. Or whatever. Let's just see if that works. game is brutal. Okay, so... No. It still just increased at one. Anyway, I kicked this motherfucker's ass. So yeah, I've never made it this far in this game before. Glad I had you guys here to cheer me on. Might have never done it otherwise. got to shorten my wire, which is a lot of my problem. Alright, so now that we've beat him, now what? Never made it this far. And was this just like stage one, like just a fucking tutorial, and now we're about to get into the real fucking hard part of the game. I didn't think that the whole game was just four bosses.
Okay, wow, so I guess we only beat like one of eight stages. Now it looks like we're in some kind of a nexus where I, I guess I'll find doors to the other stages. was literally the tutorial. You forgot the exclamation point. Try putting the number immediately after the plus symbol. this shit. And maybe I should have. Alright, so yeah, going back down was complete and total waste of time. I just need to wander around. figure out how to get to the other eight stages. So where in the hell Is there something that I'm uh, missing here, Boss Pie? So it seems like I should have found something by now. Oh, god damn it. ABG wants me to restart. I can postpone that. in this game. That's bullshit. Okay, I'm kind of scared.
no idea what I'm getting myself into. A giant mushroom. Of course. I knew one day I would fight a giant mushroom. Colorful. stomped to death several times. Well, shit. I'm excited to have made it this far in, in Titan Souls, but I'm also just a little bit worn out from Titan Souls. I'm gonna take another brief break, eat some more fucking jerky, think about whether I wanna try to play one more level in this or whatnot. Or, um... I don't know, I might try Grid 2 next, because I've been kind of itching to play that. Get some uh, drifting action on and, and also just fucking test, see if my computer can even stream that shit. But uh, yeah, give me about five minutes here to meditate on all that, and I'll be right back with you guys. <laughs> 